What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I've got a little bit of a change up for you. It's r slash entitled kids. So sit back, relax, and let's get straight into these stories. Entitled teen knocks me out and robs candy store. Backstory. So I go to this candy shop every now and then. One day I brought a friend of mine with me. Let's call him MT. He is the entitled kid. If you know what a spiky ball looks like, then you know what he looks like. He's about the same size as me, but he has always been, and I quote, a bit taller than you because you don't have xxx he always finds an object to flex yes i know he acts like a three-year-old i don't remember all of the details in this story since my entitled friend knocked me out at the end the conversation irl was also longer but i've left all the useless and unimportant things i remember out so we entered the store i had a bit of cash and a bank card with me the second we go to them big racks with a bunch of candy he starts smiling this is where the story starts hey look at those sweets i want those those and those he points at candy okay good i will grab those red ones i point at a bag of sweets oh no 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 what i'm grabbing all of those remember he is a big guy with a heavy voice i'm confused bro you mean like all 20 of them yeah and i'm not paying at this point i think it's a joke and start laughing what dude you're just gonna take them then then we discuss that a bit but that's irrelevant my entitled friend then suddenly becomes mad with an uncomfortably high-pitched voice you are paying all of it they are mine all of them what the heck did you take man snap he then proceeds to look at the rest of the customers present in the store and scream so loud i could swear my ears would fall off guys my stupid friend doesn't want to pay for my candy someone help then one of the staff members runs over she looks very friendly and i think she was worried about my friend what's wrong do you need help are you wounded no he's just i get interrupted by my friend who is now red in the face and i could swear he was going to attack someone my stupid friend doesn't want to pay for my candy i deserve it as i'm clearly bigger than him also he has a bank card and i don't even though the candy shop only accepts cash the lady then calls the manager and he comes storming in as if we just blew his store up what the heck is going on here you are bothering my customers and i'm losing them because of you i start panicking i'm terribly sorry sir but my friend has a problem with the fact i don't have enough cash on me for your entire store we have a conversation with the manager and a customer which again is not important to the story f you i deserve the candy because you are poor and need to feed the rich and i the manager then pushes him the lady sighs and walks away you are pathetic don't be a butthole nor a three-year-old he is not gonna pay for all of those 20 bags get the f out of my store and never come back again the manager then insults my entitled friend for a while then calms down i say to him one you are not my best friend two you are acting like a female dog and a three-year-old and three you don't deserve anything now get out of my face my entitled friend then says if you n-word i am not black by the way what the heck is going on gtfo and let me get my candy i need it i deserve it f you and your entire effing family i'm gonna rob all of you all by this point my entitled friend started to run away he got in a fight with an elderly lady called her a female dog then stole her purse i ran outside and tackled him the following conversation is very unclear to me as he knocked me out with the lady's purse <laughs> what is going on why are you stealing that poor lady's purse though bro not effing cool give it back and go f yourself never you deserve to die and so does your entire family oh, jesus he then proceeds to slap me with the purse putting me on the ground i even think my nose was either broken or just bleeding heavily chill the f out bro chill i don't feel like fighting you you idiot if you sleep well n word say hi to the i will not give any details on the insult as it may be racist when you wake up yeah it sounds a bit racist to me that's the point where i passed out i woke up about 20 minutes later in the break room for the staff members apparently Apparently, my entitled friend came back in after knocking me out, took all of the candy he wanted, and ran away. We are now about two years later, and for as far as I know, my entitled friend is in effing prison. I hope that you guys learn from this and never take a card with you to the candy shop. I'm just confused. Guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, do you think this story happened or not? I'm gonna go with a zero. There's just no way this is true. Not gonna lie, it was still quite entertaining, but a lot of this stuff is just so blatantly made up, is it not? If it isn't made up, I mean, I think it probably is, but if it isn't, there is a slight chance uh, your friend, I don't know why you keep calling him your friend when he just knocked you out, but your friend nonetheless needs to go to some kind of psychiatric ward and get some desperately needed help. What is wrong with him? Again, I say this with caution because it does look like this story is pretty much all made up but if he is actually in prison now i guess that's good karma 
I don't know. I can't really be too serious about this one, guys, because it just seems like a load of rubbish to me. Let me know what you think. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's move on to another story that is definitely real this time. I've checked through this one. Entitled Kid rages when I kill him in a Roblox game by accident. He then tries to get revenge and fails. I'm a Roblox player, and recently I got into this game called Piggy. For those of you that don't know, Piggy is basically granny, except instead of a grandmother attacking you, you have a demonic pepper pig. Wow, sounds interesting. So we were doing a prison stage and i got selected as piggy i asked if we could do it again after the round we were playing so i could have a chance to escape everyone says okay and then this one kid entitled kid asked me to promise i won't try to kill him i say yes but decide it was only him who asked so i decided to kill the other players but not him that is the whole point of being piggy lol anyway i'm going around murdering whoever i see except the entitled kid of course when i end up in the prison yard there's this one player hiding behind a picnic table so i decide to go to town on them. This player though is good at this type of stuff and jukes me out several times. Another player then runs to the door back inside the prison with me right behind when the entitled kid comes through at the same time and runs right into me. Now the way the game works is if the piggy touches someone, that person dies. You can't control it or anything. The kid is now in 15 pieces on the ground and is screaming bloody murder in the chat. Oh my god, you killed me, you lied to me. Sorry dude, I was trying to kill this other girl and you got caught in the crossfire. I don't care, I don't care. I'm gonna get my revenge on you, bench. <laughs> you bench, what, what an insult that is. Oh, whatever. The next round comes around and we do the same map again. He somehow gets selected as piggy and starts both how he's gonna kill me blah 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 anyway the round starts and from the glimpses i get of him when walking around he's going after other players and ends up killing all of them right away i do everything i can to survive until i found one of the players open the door to the garage now the garage gets you out of the level i had to get a gas tank which i knew how to get i went to get the battery for the machine when the entitled kid comes running for me i was carrying a gun and fire it at him which stuns him i get the gas tank while the entitled kid is running i get into the car and he's right behind Behind me. Then I get the cutscene of me running out in the car. The entitled kid is just standing there because he was in the garage right before I escaped. He raged, said screw you, and left. Now guys, some of you may be ashamed to know that I myself, unfortunately, have never had a chance, never had a go at playing Roblox, um, which is a shame. Maybe I should play it sometime. However, I do know from looking through copious amounts of memes on the internet that kids on Roblox can be very, very toxic. This post, I guess, just, just epitomizes the kids that can play that game. It's just a game. Who cares if you die? You can't say, no, you can't target me. That's unfair. And then go and target someone the next round. It doesn't really work like that. Anyway, I feel like this story was for those of you that play Roblox and have asked me so many times now to try and get an entitled parents or entitled kid Roblox story. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, moving on to our final story. Entitled kid dragged my three-month-old kitten by his tail because he was ignoring the entitled kid. It happened two months ago at my mum's birthday she invited some of her friends to come and celebrate with her one of her friends brought her two sons her 14 year old cg creepy guy and her six-year-old entitled kid the entitled kid was spoiled hard as he was born with a cleft lip and had to go through multiple surgeries since he was a baby so his parents decided to not discipline him and give him whatever he wants the entitled kid came in the door screaming asking where is my cat he was very excited now our family at the time had just adopted a three-month-old kitten which we named charcoal nice name charcoal is extremely shy and easily scared he also hates crowded places as a result the entitled kids movement scared the poop out of him i put him into my room so he can get away from all the shenanigans that was happening in the living room i was just watching youtube and occasionally checking on charcoal who was hiding under my bed still shaken by the entitled kids entrance i didn't expect the creepy guy and his brother entitled kid to barge into my room without even knocking i was extremely uncomfortable as i physically resent the creepy guy I had problems with him inappropriately touching me when our parents left us together alone a year ago. Oh, wow. I was also angry that my privacy was violated. Yeah, of course. Back to the story. The creepy guy sat uncomfortably close to me on my bed, showing me a PUBG gameplay video while the entitled kid went under my bed to terrorize my cat. I was pretty anxious since the entitled kid was notorious for being rough with animals. My anxiety was right. I heard a loud scream and I turned around, seeing the entitled kid dragging charcoal by his tail pulling my poor baby towards him 
I freaked out and pulled them apart. I was holding back my tears. I held in my urge to scream at him as I'd probably be grounded if I had done so. Our family are discouraged from being rude to guests. I don't know if it's an Asian thing or it's just my mum. Okay, fair enough, but they were dragging your cat by its tail. I think you're allowed to scream in that situation. At this point, the entitled kid's mum heard the commotion and came to my room to check on us. I explained the situation to her and she dragged the creepy guy and his brother entitled kid out of my room without saying anything. But not without the entitled kid throwing a huge tantrum crying rolling around all that jazz charcoal was curled up into a ball and it broke my heart i texted my friend asking her what should i do to stop them from coming into my room we don't have locks she said to block my door with a chair so i did but somehow the entitled kid still managed to open it he asked if he could still pet charcoal after he stopped hiding under my bed i told him i'll try but i was lying to him of course i'm not letting that little idiot touch anything i own at this point the birth day dinner was fine the entitled kid threw a few tantrums while we were bringing in the cake because he wanted to blow the candles out and get the first piece at this point i'm just gonna tie my tubes and refrain from seeing any kids again op i would love to know how old you are because (laughs) your last sentence is kind of funny imagine if you were like 12 and you were like i'm not seeing any kids ever again you might be one pretty lonely kid yourself but i assume you're a little bit older maybe a young adult yeah that makes a bit more sense to me what you said at the end there yeah seriously entitled kids should not be allowed near kittens or just pets in general the mom should be way more responsible than that i don't really blame the kid to be honest a six-year-old maybe they don't fully understand what a pet is what an animal is what life is you know it's hard to understand maybe they just see an animal as a as a, like a, a cuddly toy something they can pet it doesn't have feelings doesn't have wants emotions you know that does make some sense to me but still after seeing the way that your son goes about dealing with animals and pets maybe you as a parent should stop him from doing that just say you know what there's a cat over there you're not going anywhere near him kid not until you're a little bit older and understand how to deal with a pet anyway guys that is going to do it for this episode of r slash entitled kids it might actually be thinking about it it might be my first ever episode of entitled kids on my channel i'm not sure about that one if i have done another one and I, I might be i might be wrong there it will be on the screen right now either there or there on the other side of it will be the subscribe button hit the button if you aren't subscribed already we are now what like a thousand subscribers away from 400 000. subscribe get me there we're so close anyway i will see you tomorrow for a brand new upload subscribe